guys, Cat Manx here. Wanted to share with you some wonderful tips if you are still doing virtual copies. I know a lot of people and business owners are still doing them in spite of the fact that we can um, safely gather if we social distance with masks. A lot of people are still opting for the virtual coffee day. So with that said, I think there are some great tips um, to be had that people strangely enough still don't know or didn't get the memo about and I would love to share some with you. So the one thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is when you set up a coffee date with somebody have it in have something in mind of what you would like to get out of that coffee date um, and getting to know them and network with them. So write down you know two three four things that are reasons for you to connect with the person. Secondly, um, do a little bit of research about them. Um, know about, just like when in sales, how you research your potential customer, you want to research uh, the business owner or the network person that you're trying to network with and know about, you know, are they a family person? Do they have kids? Uh, how long have they been in business, look at their LinkedIn, look at their Facebook, do a little spying, and find out if you have any mutual connections because that is also a great thing to talk about when you connect with somebody. Uh, when you get into the coffee date, the virtual coffee date, doing something um, cute in your background, uh, have it be organized, making sure that what's behind you isn't piles of laundry or toys everywhere. <laughs> um, making sure that you are putting yourself, your first impression in the best light possible. Dress appropriately, so dress according to your brand and what you do uh, or casual um, according, you know, just look somewhat professional but casual. And having a uh, be prepared for some breaking the ice instances. So sometimes it can be uncomfortable to talk with people. And so it's a great idea to have a few topics that you can talk about that you like to talk about or that make you smile or laugh or some funny jokes so that you can uh, break the ice if there's any dull in the conversation. Or so if you can have a great joke that you tell or something like to that effect it is awesome to do that during your and lastly what you want to remember to do is have a good beverage it's a coffee date and a lot of times people don't even show up with their coffee so it's great to have at least a hot beverage of some sort it's a cocktail hour instead of a coffee date then have a cocktail um, don't show up empty-handed it um, you know, kind of just sets the tone, it makes it more casual, it makes it more fun. It also is a great icebreaker to talk about what you like to drink. Because one of the things in sales that if you are in sales at all is knowing about your customer and your referral bases so that you can reward them with their favorite things when they do refer you. So absolutely, um, Take these tips and run with them and have fabulous coffee dates and get to know each other still. Don't think that because school started and distance learning started that you can't excel in your business because you absolutely can. And for more tips and advice, go to catmanks.com slash consulting.